All right, so we just discussed the um, uh, general features of the uh, of um, the data deluge. Now we come to the data science process itself, and um, we've already effectively mentioned this that we have a process. Data becomes information, becomes knowledge, and knowledge becomes wisdom or decisions. Note as this, um, there are various features of this process. We have incredible amounts of data. Often the wisdom or, or decisions are actually a small amounts of data. Smaller, sorry, small numbers of bytes or bits. So as often as we go down this um, pipeline from data to wisdom, the volume of bits goes down. Another important feature is it often impacts more and more people. When you have a data deluge, that translates, say, into a policy by the government. That government impacts the entire, that government policy impacts the entire country. And so that's another feature. The, the community gets involved when we get down to wisdom or decisions, because the community has to endorse the wisdom. And um, we get the decision that who somebody has become president, that is a decision by the community. We make some physics decision that the Higgs boson has been discovered. That is a physics community decision based on inspection of the data to knowledge uh, pipeline established by the different experiments at the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, this um, pipeline is illustrated here on this figure I drew a long time ago which actually has uh, the raw data, the data, the information, the knowledge, the wisdom decisions pipeline. It has around the top, the left, and the bottom sources of data. Uh, aircraft, that's aircraft engines we'll see is an important source of data. Um, sensors. Um, and also uh, smartphones, telescopes, satellites, bioinformatics instruments, um, webcams, and another very, very important source of data is the um, actual um, computers and storage systems, which are store existing data, because they're going to run programs which produce more data. So. An important source of data is other data. And when that's in fact the whole feature of the pipeline. The pipeline is data, the data prime, the data double prime, the information, the information prime, the information double prime. So here's an example of this pipeline for a simple case we are familiar with Google Maps or, or Microsoft uh, Maps and navigation. Um, then the maps come uh, sort of originally built out from data. Those data come from satellites, which will be the nice overlays that you can put on the maps. The, the street cams that tell you what's going on. The USGS, um, that is effectively information. And that map data is presented, you could say, as information by the Google Maps web page. When do we get knowledge? Well. You will then press the button saying, present me the route from position A to position B. That's knowledge, that route. Then we come to a decision that we will then decide based on different uh, routings that have been presented to you, which route, what you're going to do. That, that's your decision. So we see in this simple case how we go from from raw data through decisions. Note the actual routing algorithm is pretty non-trivial to actually decide what the optimal uh, route is, and quite, uh, quite difficult. 